Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. Today I'm going to present you a knife made by a Swedish knife maker. His name is Lars Federsen. Now, before we start the review of the knife, just a quick word about the maker, and I'm going to quote this sentence from a book. His goal has always been to find the perfect balance between form and function, ergonomy and aesthetics. His knives are of Scandinavian type. The materials he uses are all genuine natural materials, such as moose and reindeer horn with engravings, and Nordic sorts of wood. So basically, Scandinavian style, from what I know, he makes mainly fixed blades, but I think he has started making folding knives recently. He uses only local natural materials and his knives are really made to be used, but he likes to make them good looking also, and he makes himself a ton of engravings. So that being said, let's take a closer look to the knife. And you can already tell there's a beautiful sheath, or we could call it a, a scabbard maybe, but uh, we'll take a closer look to that a bit later. Right, quick specs about the knife. Blade length is 10 centimeters for a cutting edge of nine centimeters. Total length is 21 centimeters. And uh, total length when it's in the sheath is 24 centimeters. There's a beautiful carbon Damascus steel blade and it's actually a sandwich blade. So basically uh, you have three main layers that compose the blade, the central layer which will end up being the cutting edge and two outside pieces that are made of Damascus steel. It was forged by Kent Anderson, a Swedish uh, blacksmith, but unfortunately I think he doesn't make Damascus anymore. Really, really uh, beautiful and it has a very high contrast. The dark is really deep black. The lighter parts are really uh, mirror polished. Very interesting and it's a very deep edge so it gives a lot of texture to the blade. We've got a Scandinavian style grinding. So that means it starts really uh, low on the blade, but you don't have a secondary uh, bevel where the edge is. And this thing cuts like hell. <laughs> nice swedge on top there that makes a very pointy and dangerous tip. Really, really nice. Yep. For the handle, it is made of uh, lots of different pieces of reindeer antler. And the it's separated by black spaces. For what we could call the bolsters, we've got uh, stabilized spalted beech wood. Now you probably wonder what spalting is. And basically it's some sort of fungi that grow on dead or uh, fallen trees. Um, the process takes two to three years and it colonizes the wood and leaves this black color. It's looking really, really nice. Nice contouring, by the way, on the pommel there. Adjustments are really, really well made. And the whole piece feels extremely good in the hands. Now, as Scandinavian knives in general, I would say, they really feel like you really want to use them when you've got them in your hands. On this side there, we've got a beautiful engraving made in a traditional braid pattern made by Lars. Very, very nice. And I quite like the idea that it's not on both sides, actually. Uh, there you can really, I mean, see the beauty of the materials and it enhances the, the work on the Damascus. And on this part, it's really, really busy. It looks really beautiful also, I think. Yep. Now let's take a closer look to the sheath. 
Uh, first of all, it's really well made, and yeah, <laughs> the, the the knife is literally sucked in, and there is absolutely no chance when you wear this knife that the knife comes out. Extremely well made and adjusted. Uh, you've got again this beautiful engraving that matches perfectly well the one on the handle, and it's made of reindeer horn again. So really solid sheath, it is held by different pins, very well made and a lot of work just to make the sheath there. There you've got a lanyard that uh, allows you to wear the knife with um, on your belt, so on your left side if you're right handed. And there's again some decoration on this piece of reindeer horn extremely well made and there we've got a piece of raw hide leather so basically that means it has not been tanned and it's very rigid extremely extremely well made so that's it guys let's maybe take a closer look to uh, some of the things he has made in the past that's quite a recent piece, I think. Um, as you can see, uh, same style, same kind of sheath, but with a different Damascus, different um, material combinations. Really beautiful. I, I love this piece of wood. It's really amazing. There you've got a closer look to the blade. And here I've got pictures of another knife he's made many years ago that is still in the same style as you can tell. Very, very cool indeed. So that's it guys. Um, really hope you enjoyed it. As usual, please leave a like if you did. Don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below what you think about the knife. And uh, as always, I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.